Welcome, my name is Cowboy Tori. I have a channel with uh, World of Warship Legends uh, matches on. Uh, normally I record my matches uh, to um, watch them afterwards and to analyze them and, and to learn from them, to learn from my mistakes. I already posted several uh, videos, but now I want to try something different. Uh, instead of mixing different uh, ships, I want to make a series about where I focus on one single ship and try to level it up uh, in, uh, in as many matches as uh, over as quickly as possible. Um, the difference is with my other matches that I, that I, I uh, record is of obviously on my YouTube channel I only put the matches that either I'm, I'm, uh, I win or where I, I do rather well. The goal is when I'm leveling a single ship and focusing on a single ship that I show you every match, even the ones that I lose, even the ones where I totally screw up. Uh, Every match will be uh, recorded. Will be recorded, of course, with live commentary. So I don't know what will happen. I don't know how this will look. Uh, and the first ship that I selected to try this, okay, it's only tier three, but it's uh, the Courbet, a French uh, battleship. Maybe go over the details. I already unlocked it uh, by playing the Duguay Trouin. Uh, and maybe let's go over the statistics. Uh, so yeah, these are the general st statistics. As you can see, I already bought one upgrade. Uh, just uh, the Courbet, what it's, let's read. The first Dreadnought battleship built in France. The ship carried 12 305mm main guns and powerful secondary guns. Her sides were reinforced with fast armored areas. Her disadvantages included weak torpedo protection. So the traits are long reach, above average main battery range, you hit them before they can hit you. That's basically always, always a uh, the thing you have to do. Uh, and compromising high caliber armor piercing shells may overpen the armor, but may still arm depending on shell velocity. So let's go to uh, the loadout and the upgrades. Uh, so basically I need to accumulate 24,000 XP before I have completely uh, unlocked or uh, leveled the ship. So I'm not, uh, yeah, you could say, okay, I completely unlocked it once you have 12,000 XP, then you have all the, the slots uh, unlocked. But I'll go further, it's up until I reach uh, the tier 4 Britannia, Britannia that, I, uh, that I will go. Uh, as I said, I already uh, unlocked uh, once, or I uh, paid for one slot. So I'm gonna check that out, the one that I selected. So normally you have uh, you have an option out of four slots, armament, durability mod, uh, which increases your, your the HP of uh, your main secondary and AA guns, but lowers your overall HP. You can go for a secondary battery, uh, which extends the firing range of and firing accuracy of your secondary battery, which is controlled by the AI. You can go for main battery mod too, where uh, you increase your traverse speed, but you reduce your reload time. I'm not a big fan of that uh, modification uh, because yeah, then of course because you reduce your reload time. The uh, aiming system, I've chosen for the aiming systems mod 1. Uh, increase the firing accuracy of the main battery and secondary battery. Accelerate the traverse speed of torpedo launchers and extends the firing range of the secondary battery. Uh, of course, it's a battleship. I don't have torpedo launchers, I think. Let me just check for the security loadout. Nope, no torpedo rain, uh, launchers. So that might be okay. Why do you need that? But again, I here I chose that one because the dispersion of my main battery is reduced. So my shells will fall closer to uh, to each other or, or will not be as dispersed. Uh, first, I'm gonna uh, go to play. I'm not gonna start playing yet, but I want to change the uh, commander. Robert Jouzard is the commander that I initially selected. I'm gonna uh, 
add for the moment an, an, another commander which is not leveled so that we don't see the impact of that uh, commander on the stats. Uh, so the basic stats are uh, these. Upgrade and load out back. Uh, so the loadout have of course high explosive shells do 4200 damage, reload time 30 seconds. Uh, I have armor piercing shells with a reload time of 30 seconds, maximum damage 8300 and a firing range of 12 kilometers, 12.8 kilometers. Of course I have uh, damage control, repair and enhance secondary targeting consumables so uh, lower the dispersion and improve the shell grouping of your secondary armament as you can see i'm not going to use any boosters perhaps of course commander boosters but i'm not going to use uh, and, and credit boosters but not ship xp boosters the flag okay camouflage at the moment i will try to do without camouflage as this also changes the stats basic stats uh, so i have 38200 hit points so this is always important but i already uh, read that so the firing range of 12.8 and 30 seconds uh, um, reload time a defense maximum speed 19 knots uh, and the concealment i usually ignore concealment with uh, battleships because uh, your main gun will well, once you start firing your gun, you will become detectable uh, um, at 12 point kilometers. So, once you start firing, you will be spotted. Uh, and then, of course, the armor. Armor. Okay, that's the general information. Uh, perhaps. And then. And check which commander I'm gonna use um, so not André Le Monnier, he's sort of the interim uh, basically if you look at the specializations it is either Robert Jouzard or uh, Louis de Fournay I didn't pick Louis de Fournay because if you look at his details his base trait is confrontation so uh, high explosive shell damage uh he i'm a for for other ships i've set him to uh, more a uh, chance of uh, causing fire torpedo detectability uh, speed and traverse uh, over maximum range so instead i went with uh, Jouzar for uh, these reasons so kind of commander profile he has a base trait which uh, increased the armor piercing shell penetration. Uh, I could, and so then for his first uh, trait, uh, personal trait, I took uh, risk, uh, reduced the risk of catching fire or flooding. Um, then the I increased the traversal speed of the main battery. Uh, an alternative is that I can, I can can increase the traverse speed and AP cell damage, but that will reduce my speed. 1.6. So uh, maybe I might toggle between those two. I'm not 100% sure yet which one. Well, I'll have to test out what the effect is. Third trait, uh, sh uh, shell switching is something that I very rarely do, so I'm not interested in that one then again increase even more martial grouping for uh, but at the cost of uh, rudder shift speed so uh, i'm a bit less maneuverable or i could uh, reduce the of course reduce the duration of increased detectability but again <laughs> uh, yeah i'm gonna be disappear from their view uh, once i uh, faster when i start firing but yeah i don't know so I went with uh, the, the increased shell grouping and then increased the maximum range of my main battery. Uh, so if I pick him and then as uh, inspiration I took Charles Madden because he decreases the reload time and increases the traverse speed for my main battery. Uh, so we're gonna see the effect if I 
pick him as a Shujar as my commander and go to the base stats um, upgrade loadouts and then loadout stats uh, so <laughs> I reduced my reload time with uh, with a four uh, with four hundred stuff a second uh and let's see my fire range remained 12.9 so that that had an effect so maybe we'll see if i'll change this a little bit so because increase traverse speed go let's see what the effect is of if i go stance uh so the eight thousand seven hundred ninety nine and uh, can I see here the dispersion rate uh so no um so i'm gonna i'm gonna stay with this class of this setup for Josar um I might go. Uh, I'm not sure I might go uh, extend his uh, rank to 11 so that I have a second inspiration if I have a second inspiration usually for battleships I take uh, or Panasian commander Rissi at the end uh, with Ding Ruchang because again also he uh, he increases my reload time um, so that I can fire quicker uh, but we'll go for this setup for the moment uh, and uh, we'll start with this battleship so when I return uh, we'll go my first match uh, with the Kurbe see you soon Welcome, I'm Cowboy Tori, uh, and this is the series where I try to level up the tier 3 French battleship Courbet. Uh, the goal is to show you every match, even the ones where I screw up completely. Uh, so this is my first match, so fingers crossed that I don't start up by, uh, by making some stupid mistakes. I'm gonna already switch to armor-piercing uh, shells, because my setup was primarily designed for that uh, so quickly I didn't mention the, the map we're on a ring on domination uh, I'm gonna leave let my cruiser go first uh, there are no carriers so that is good uh, I don't know where my where the destroyer is going I'm not gonna go fast. Okay, we're already spotted. This is not good. Uh, so I'm gonna. I don't know from where I'm spotted because, of course, I don't have. Uh, because that destroyer is yeah, running away from us. So okay, ooh, I'm. Oops, I'm going to that island, but I'm gonna go behind that island. Okay. I cleared the island. So clearly, an enemy destroyer is already capturing D. I'm not gonna. Okay, and there's the smoke. I'm spotted, but I'm gonna. Yeah, it's very stupid. Why um or little destroyer? Uh, went away. He should have gone go to D. I could have used his uh, his reconnaissance. Okay, our cruiser here is pushing now, so I'm gonna... Okay, we have... Okay, first ship sighted. Enemy destroyer sighted. Okay, I'm gonna... that destroyer must go... All stations, oh. reporting the position of a strategic target. He's sitting still, I have the impression he's sitting still, so... 
I'm assuming he is monitoring me. No, now he's moving. Enemy he's not moving very fast, so I'm gonna try to. Enemy Hopefully, I get some hits. Yep. Confirmed penetration. Uh, gonna turn a little bit. Okay, our cruiser is using that um, that island, uh, but I think okay he's standing still again. Now he's going forward. It's a wild shot if he turns. Uh, okay, because we need requesting fire on the designated target. Okay, we got hits on him. Uh, can I see that destroyer? No, so I'm gonna focus on that Aurora. Uh, eight seconds is normally. It's just out of my range, but I'm still gonna fire. You never know. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm turning around now. Uh, okay, I have to get in range of that Katori. Okay, we lost a cruiser, the St. Louis. And that's by, because of that Katori. He's not yet in range. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to... Hopefully, is my aim correct? Yes. We now lost uh, destroyer. Oh, gonna have to wait. Okay, he's now firing at me, and he's going backward. Oh, first hit on my ship and he's gone okay first ship sunk with my kurbe okay it's a wild shot okay that v25 is gone Or Campbelltown. Oh. oh. Or they both sunk. Yeah, they, they rammed each other and sunk each other. Okay. We have two battleship, a battleship and a cruiser. And another battleship on our right flank. So they're attacking uh, that Bugatir and that Wyoming. So we're gonna sail towards them. Okay, it's an enemy Wyoming. Uh, a phoenix and the third one is an elder wyoming there's 
still out of my range. So, okay, the Wyoming that was trying to capture A is destroyed. So we're gonna try to focus on the closest one, which is that Phoenix. Okay, turning and eight seconds is roughly two clicks. Need a little bit more lead. And yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if my aiming is a little bit off. Oh, we lost our Dursky, our destroyer. I'm more of a destroyer player. Okay, that's that Phoenix is the last ship they have. Okay, and he's gone. My first match with the Kurbe. <laughs> Not much damage. I did what? 6,000 damage. Uh, and I don't think that I didn't contribute a lot to the team. Third place on the bottom. And I made, yeah. Okay, I don't know whether, perhaps of course the damage is low because of, okay, it's tier three. Okay, so this was my first match, up to the next.